If the MCQ has both ABG and electrolytes in the question, then you know the question is about anion gap. So in this question, how do you solve it? First is you check the pH in the acid base imbalance. Okay. So if pH is less than 7.35, it's acidosis more than 7.45 alkalosis. So here it's 7.2, it is acidosis. Second, you check what is the primary disorder. This is by using the Rome mnemonic. That is respiratory is in the opposite, metabolic is in the equal side. So for this, you look at the PCO2. If PCO2 is in the same direction as in the pH, then it is metabolic acidosis. If P PCO2 is in the opposite direction of the pH then it is respiratory acidosis so here pH, pH is 7.2 PCO2 is 20 so both are in low direction so it is metabolic acidosis because in this question because electrolytes are mentioned then that means they are asking about anion gap okay now what is anion gap anion gap is nothing but the difference between the cations and anions in the body okay normally remember the cations and anions should be equal right because everything has to be in equilibrium now cations is easy to measure so the entire cations are measured but anions is not easy to measure that is you have a component of measured cation measured anions plus measured unmeasured anions okay so uh, anion gap becomes cations equals unmeasured anions plus measured anions okay now imagine any situation in which this unmeasured anions are increasing because of some acid in the body so what is going to happen to keep the equation under equilibrium the measured anion level is going to come down so what are the measured cations measured cation is nothing but sodium and potassium measured anion is chloride and bicarbonate so when unmeasured anion is going to increase the chloride and bicarbonate level is going to proportionately decrease so what is going to happen to the anion gap which is nothing but the level of unmeasured anion uh, the measured cations plus minus the measured anion level is going to increase. So, this is a high anion gap. So, the normal is around 6 to 12 milliequivalent per liter. Anything more than that is high anion gap. Now, what are the causes for that? Remember the mnemonic mud piles. M is for methanol toxicity. U is for uremia. D is for diabetic and other cause of ketoacidosis like starvation and alcoholic. Uh, P is for uh, propylene glycol toxicity. And uh, I is for isoniazid toxicity. L is lactic acidosis. E is ethanol toxicity. And S is salicylates.